And a good Monday morning to you. Roger Hill, weathering heights. Well, all eyes are on a uh, storm system to our south and east. It's affecting mainly the Cape Cod region. This is good through about 11 o'clock. Start to see acc accumulating snows across uh, Long Island and parts of uh, Rhode Island into southeastern New Hampshire. And the area that's really going to be mostly affected is really from Boston back into the Cape region. So let's run the uh, snowfall totals here. This is noon. And then... Uh, See if this is in. Nope, it's not in yet. But uh, uh, an hour ago, uh, higher resolution computer modeling shows the uh, snow just barely getting into the Brattleboro region, roughly by around, uh, I would say, 1.30 or so. And then uh, continues to overspread the region and backing in toward New England. Now, the uh, European model does give us, by uh, this would be about 6 o'clock this evening, a little bit of smidgen of snow across our neck of the woods here. So. This uh, is probably underperforming, and I would suspect that even over toward the Champlain Valley, we will start to see some snow uh, as we get a little bit after dark. But uh, the main effect here is definitely going to be across southeastern New England, and uh, we're not looking at a, a major snowfall here, but up to about four inches to the south and east of our uh, Green Mountain State and into parts of New Hampshire. So interesting to note, these are current conditions here roughly at about 9.15. And what you can see here is this area of low pressure, and it's uh, brought some circulating drier air all the way around. So it has almost extra tropical characteristics here. But this swath of snow is uh, means something here. And some very strong winds. You can see the snow accumulations very rapidly on some of the uh, offshore islands near the Cape and uh, continuing to move north and west. Now, we also have another area of low pressure that's located over about Sault Ste. Marie and uh, it has also been producing a wide area of a fair amount of snow. Let's show you where it's snowing here. You can see a lot of light snow basically on its western periphery and this is some fairly strong wind, uh, blustery colder air working on in and they've had some uh, whiteout conditions in parts of Iowa being reported. So uh, fairly significant. This area of low pressure however is going to gradually weaken over time the area to the south and east of us, uh, the area of low pressure here, is definitely going to be pulling away and really just giving fringe effects to eastern New England, as we saw. So this is six hours snowfall starting this morning at eight, uh, 7 o'clock, and then you can see that snow spreading back, but we're not looking at it very much. Uh, most of it is starting to work out of the region by uh, tomorrow morning around uh, 7 o'clock. Just some leftover effects uh, heading northbound, and so there's going to be a pretty good lull across uh, New Hampshire during the primary, I would say, uh, in the afternoon especially with some snow in the morning. All of that advancing north. And you can see that uh, northern tier areas never quite stop snowing, but the rest of Vermont does. So we have another weather system moving in, of course, from the west, as I just showed you. And this is going to work on in. We're talking minuscule amounts, under one inch. Uh, it's just going to be micro-dustings, killer micro-dustings at that. And... Uh, not a whole lot to look forward to. Now temperatures will get pretty cold as we get into Saturday. We do have another weather system to look at. It looks like almost very similar situation. Coastal eastern New England gets attacked. Vermont, yeah, not as much as you think. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.